Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome to another book chat. Hello, welcome back. Okay, today, a quickie video on something that I was thinking about the other day. Um, are you actually ready to start reading classic literature? Now, there's the classics and there's classic books. So the classics would be things like all your Greek authors, your, your Aristotle, your um, that sort of thing. Like, I, I don't really read that, so I'm not really all up to date with it. That would be classical literature. And then you get classic books like Wuthering Heights and Jane Austen and all that stuff. What I want to talk today, about today is the classic books. I don't want to talk about all that Aristotle stuff, okay? all the Greek literature. It's a bit too heavy. But are you ready to read things like Wuthering Heights, uh, Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, Wilkie Collins? Do you think you're ready to read that? Because it doesn't matter how old you are. Um, you need to feel ready. Otherwise, what's going to happen is if you force yourself, or if you're forced into reading classic literature, you're going to hate it and you're not going to want to continue with it. There are people who are 16 that are reading incredibly classic, incredible classic stuff. They, they studied at school and they love it. They read Shakespeare, they read um, Jane Austen, they, they thrive on this. And then there are people of, of 40 who absolutely hate this stuff, you know, who are like, no, give me a Daniel Steele any day. <laughs> okay, not that there's anything wrong with Daniel Steele. Um, but it doesn't matter, age is not a thing. In this in this question age doesn't come into it um what i want to know from you is are you ready to actually record uh, to actually start reading classics first of all the main thing is you have to really really want to do this you have to want to do it you have to say to yourself you know what? i really want to read wuthering hearts i'm gonna use wuthering hearts as an example I've, I've heard so much about this i actually really want to read it so that's the first thing is you've got to want to read it then you've got to get yourself a copy of the book now there are many different types of copies of the book. There are the abridged. There's the abridged version. There's the illustrated version. There's the children's version. And I'm not saying to you you can't read the children's version of a classic, but look at what version you're going to get, and see if you want to actually get that. Okay. See if you actually want to get the full enchilada. Okay. Or if you want to get the abridged version or even the children's version. Decide on that. The next thing you need to decide on is how much time are you going to spend on this? Do you want to actually start reading only the classics? Or do you want to start maybe reading one classic a month or one classic every six months in amongst your Daniel Steeles and your Wilbur Smiths and your, you know, your uh, Kala Desaini books? Is this what you want to do? Or do you say, are you going to go like, boom, I'm going to only read classics for the, for the rest of the year and then go and decide what classics? And that is the other thing I need to tell you is, are you, are you ready to read a Dickens, okay, Charles Dickens, which is incredibly dense. Um, are you or are you ready to read something that we kind of all know about as Pride and Prejudice, okay, um, or maybe something that's kind of in between, okay? You could do a George Eliot, Middlemarch. Um, decide whether you are read what you are ready to read. So you don't have to start with Charles Dickens. I would not recommend Dickens to anybody who's starting out reading classics. Um, classic books, but do you think you're ready to read Dickens? Even if you are reading classic literature, classic books, do you think that you are ready to read Dickens? Or do you feel that you are ready to read Chaucer? Okay, even if you've been reading other stuff, the Brontes, um, you know, that sort of thing, Mary Shelley, okay, Bram Stoker, you've been reading those, do you think you're ready to move on it's something that you have to decide because as I said to you in the beginning of this video, if you don't decide or if you don't feel that you are ready, you're going to hate it. Okay. And that's not the idea. That's not what we want here. We want you to feel comfortable reading classic books. Okay. And so my opinion to you is decide if you're ready. And if you feel that little spark that, yes, I do want to start or yes, I want to go deeper start with something that is interesting to you and i've had done a video on this before start with something simple and then progress from there or if you are reading already take a chance extend your 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 reading uh, you know extend it and go and read something a little dense like a 
Charles Dickens. Okay. Just a thought. Are you really ready to dive into the classics? Are you ready to go into the deep end of the classics? Think about it. Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, like, share and subscribe. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. This has been Book Chat. Bye.